Hey there friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you a really cool tool that you can purchase for fairly inexpensive that's gonna make putting laminate and doing other stair type projects a whole lot easier. Let's get into it. Okay, like I said, this is the tread tool and you can see basically how it works. This is gonna give us very accurate measurements for how to cut our vinyl laminate flooring so we can recover these floating steps, as you can see. Now we've already done the steps kind of leading up this direction, you can see the bull nose. But again, cutting these so that you get a really perfect seam, it's nice and flush on the side here, it can be very difficult to get a, you know measuring tape in there and get an exact fit, especially like up here, if this area is not perfectly square. So again, we're gonna have to measure each of these steps to make sure we have accurate cuts for each of our vinyl planks. Well, that's where this tool comes in handy. Basically what you're gonna get in this box here, now again, I purchased this at Home Depot for roughly uh, $25, but they make these on, where you can get them on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box below. And basically what you get are these little ends, and these are what are gonna butt up against the edge of your stairs here to give us that nice flush feel. You have one for either end. And then you're also going to need a piece of wood to basically connect the two. As you can see in the picture here, uh, they have one that's cut fairly uh, close to the length of your stairs. You can see this one stretches across like there with the little gaps in the ends. And I actually picked this up from Home Depot as well. Again, that was right around five bucks. Wood is expensive right now. So if you have a piece of scrap wood laying around, that would work great. All right, let's go ahead and mount these on either end and I can show you how it's kind of set up. Okay, so to basically set these up, we're gonna obviously need to have the straight edge with the writing uh, upwards. And then we're going to basically have it obviously pointing over to the left. And then I'm going to put the piece of pulper kind of right in the middle uh, here. And then basically we just have to hand tighten these two uh, screws uh, with the butterfly nuts down into place. You don't do this too tight because again, we do need to adjust slightly uh, once we have these on the stair tread. So we have a perfect measurement. Okay, so we got that one on as well as the other side here. Again, these are fairly loose. You can see I can kind of move it around. And this is just gonna allow us to get those precise kind of measurements, move it in and out of place. Okay, so as you can see, I've laid it out against the stair here. And basically what we're gonna do is on either side, again, with this fairly loose, is we're just gonna push this out until this slides up nice and flush against the side of the stairs here. And that's nice and tight. So we'll look over here on the other side and we'll do the exact same thing. Make sure that's nice and flush. And once that is, we now have our measurement. Okay, once everything's tight and flush, we're just going to tighten down these nuts so that everything stays locked into place. I'll do that on this side as well. And that makes sure nothing kind of moves as we pull this out. And then we can kind of jimmy this out. Now, again, this will be a little bit tight. So you may again have to kind of wriggle and get it at an angle there. As you can see, that's pulling out slightly there for me. And now we have an exact measurement to measure our plank. Okay, so we have our vinyl plank laid out. As you can see, this is butted up nice and flush with the end. And then obviously we have a perfect uh, cut measurement now over here on this edge. And I can just come in here with my Sharpie and kind of mark the inside edge of that. And now that'll give us a cut line for our chop saw. All right, Aspen the Project Pup has joined us. As you can see, after we've done a bit on the chop saw here to measure it and cut it, we are now nice and flush with the sides of the stairs there. We're ready for another small piece here in the back and then our bull nose. So again, this is just a cool little tool I wanna to show you guys. Again, links will be in the description box below on Amazon. Again, I picked this up at Home Depot because I needed it today. But again, for $25, $20 or so, maybe on Amazon, it really is worthwhile to get those perfect, nice, flush cuts. Friends, I hope this helps. If it has, hit that thumbs up button for us. Let us know what else, what other projects or tool review type things you are looking for. We'd love to make more helpful videos. Subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next one.